This is to all those who've been listening to old time radio that I've been podcasting for 12 years. It's time for you to purchase the old time radio collection now at the lowest prices ever. 500 gigabyte external hard drive chuck full of radio shows that we all love. And don't forget the bonuses. Here's my offer. I need everyone who hears my voice to go to oldtimeradiodvd.com to place your order today. With every order, I will include a comprehensive show guide with episode descriptions over 1982 pages this is truly once in a lifetime deal place your order today at oldtimeradiodvd.com you will be glad you did it's hop along cassidy with action and suspense out of the old west comes the most famous hero of them all hop along cassidy Starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, Murder on the Trail. Some folks always seem to be right in the center of excitement. And that may be because some folks look for it. Of course, you'd never get Hopalong Cassidy to admit that, but his pal, California, strongly suspects it. And especially now that they interrupted a peaceful ride back to the Bar 20 to hitch over to Rapid River for the night. Well, there's the Rapid River Hotel up ahead on the right. Let's see if they have a couple of empty sacks. Uh, I'd sooner be out under the stars, and so would you, Hoppy. <laughs> you can't fool me why we come here. You decided awful sudden after you heard there was a little trouble. Me? Walk into trouble? Why, California, you hurt my feelings. Well, you're going to hurt my stomach if we don't get some grub pretty soon. As soon as we get a room lined up. Folks in the lobby seem pretty excited. Yeah, I guess they're talking about the killing. Who was it? Uh, Mr. Mills, he owned the stagecoach line. Robbery, I suppose. No, he was... Uh... Hey, you! Hey, you're Hopalon Cassidy, ain't you? That's right. You're wanted at the museum. Really? Well, I hadn't figured on being put on the glass quite so early in life. Ha, <laughs> ha! You tell him, Hoppy. Go on over, pal. You'll enjoy yourself in a museum. What makes you think so? Well, you seem to like keeping an old relic around. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what do you say? Why, 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 if, if, if that ain't... They did, I, I, I ought to... Uh, of all... They, doggone you out. <laughs> Cassidy. I had a message for somebody here at the yes, museum. Yes, yes, I sent the message. I saw you ride into town a little while ago, and I thought perhaps you could help me. Well, this is my partner, California Carlson. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. My name is Muncie. Harry. I judge you're upset because of the murder, Mr. Muncie. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm uh, I'm responsible for it. You're what? Well, just what I said. Mr. Mills would be alive now if it weren't for me. I deciphered a map showing the secret passage into Lost Canyon, and I showed it to Mr. Mills. He had always been so interested in the canyon, he started for there at sunup, and by noon a rider found him dead. Well, that doesn't make you responsible. No, but I knew it would happen to anyone who tried to go up into the canyon. I knew it when I showed him that map. This is getting kind of complicated, and uh, why is an old Ross Canyon so dangerous? Ah, oh, there's a legend about that canyon, California. A true legend, Mr. Cassidy, of the vow taken by the Jepson followers never to let anyone invade their canyon. It has been sealed up for 20 years. Disaster will overtake anyone who tries to enter Lost Canyon. But it doesn't seem like religious folks would uh, take the murder. Don't you understand, Mr. Cassidy? They're fanatics. They will stop at nothing. Look, look here in this cabinet. Now, these are dumb, dumb bullets. They have a hollow nose. Rip a man to pieces when they strike. The British developed them. And, and do you know why? To stop fanatics who couldn't be downed by an ordinary bullet. But you're speaking of savage frontiersmen, Mr. Muncie. Then you aren't afraid of these people in Lost Canyon? Uh, you don't know Hoplong Cassidy very well. Uh, or you know he ain't afraid of nothing. Then 
Will you take the map? What? The map to Lost Canyon. I'm not a brave man, Mr. Cassidy, and now I'm terrified. I just want to live here among my treasures. I don't want any violence to befall me. I don't suppose any of us really wants violence. But you can cope with it. Please, will you take the map? Well... Go ahead, Hoppy. You're just itching to get into more adventure. Good, good. I have it hidden in this room. I'll be right back. I know something like this would happen, Hoppy. You head for danger like Chopper does to a field of wild oak. Oh, there's no danger in this. Mr. Muncie is just an excitable little man. Ah! What in blazes? Mr. Muncie. Hoppy. Hoppy, look. This axe has split his skull. It's all from the wall, or maybe... I know what you mean. Go get a doctor, quick. Back to Hop Along Cassidy. Hoppy rode into Rapid River because he was curious about one murder and now he's mixed up in another. The town is in a nasty mood. They want somebody to pay for the killing, all of which puts Hoppy in California in a pretty tough spot. The Dot Little Museum is now bristling with outraged townsfolk, and the sheriff is not having much success keeping order. Yeah. Men, get back. I'm the law around here. This is my business. When our friends go getting killed, it's pretty much our business, I figure. So Bring them two men out of the other room and let us tend to yeah, them. We we'll give them just... Now, quiet. Quiet, all of you. I'm drawing my gun, and the first man that interferes with me is going to get it, you understand? Uh, it's mobs like you that hang innocent men. And there'll be none of that in Rapid River. Stop this murder. I will yeah. stop it. I will. In the right way. All right, deputy. Bring them two men out. Yeah. Yeah. There's the whole gang! Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! This gun's cocked, and I mean business. Stay back if you want to keep your head on straight. Thanks, Sheriff. They don't seem very friendly. I'm here to keep the law, and if you're guilty, you'll hang just as they want. Now, ah, look here, Sheriff. You don't know who you're talking to. Oh, am I supposed to bow when I meet you? <laughs> no, but by golly, you'll take off in your hat when you meet my partner here. This is Hopalong Cassidy. Uh-huh. How do you do, Sheriff? You're, you're Hopalong? I don't let it trick you, Sheriff. Shut up! Nobody tricks Sheriff Richards. So you're supposed to be Hopalong Cassidy, huh? No, Sheriff, I'm not supposed to be. I am. Ain't you never seen his pictures? The only pictures I ever see are the ones with wanted on them. <laughs> ain't he true? He ain't Hopalong. Ain't nobody here ever seen Hopalong? Huh? Oh, shut up, Jake. A lot of good you'll do it. Well, if the fellow knows me, bring him out, Sheriff. Nah, that's old Jake Peters, blind as a bat. I don't need eyes to know Hopalong Cassidy. Let me through here. How in tarnation you going to tell, Jake? I got way. Where, where is this fella? Here I am. You must be the Jake Peters that used to ride range in Cheyenne. Now, now don't confuse me with talk. There's one sure way I can tell Hop along. Don't matter now if I don't have eyes to see him. I'll still know him if I can just hear him walk. Huh? Oh, uh, gone if this ain't something. Go ahead, you walk. Like this, Jake? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little more. It's him, Sheriff. That's hop along. I'd know the ring of his spurs anywhere. You sure, Jake? Of course I am. Well, that's good enough yeah. for me. You're yeah, welcome to Rapid River, Hoppy. Thanks, Jake. Your friends were hard to convince. Well, I, I'm right sorry, Mr. Cassidy. But you know, a fella can't be too careful, especially when he's the law. Hoppy ain't used to treatment like this. I understand, Sheriff, and I'll be obliged now if I can help in any way to clean up this murder. Oh, thanks, but we don't need no help. 
We're used to handling our own affairs in Rapid River. Come on, men. Play out of this museum. We ain't getting nothing done hanging around here. Oh, uh, Sheriff, yeah? would you mind if my friends and I stayed here for a while and looked over the displays? Seems to be quite a fine collection. Well, I don't know. Well, we rode quite a ways to see this museum. We'd be grateful if we could stay and look it over. Well, just because you're Hopalong Cassidy, don't think you're privileged character around here. I'd do the same for any citizen. You can stay for ten minutes. Thanks, Sheriff. That'll be fine. Why, that insulting tin horn sheriff. The idea of him talking to you the way he did. Oh, forget it. He was just trying to impress us. I don't know why you went to all that trouble to stay in this here museum anyway. Don't you know, California? Really? Oh, all right. Of course you know. You think you can find something that the sheriff didn't in his investigation? I'm sure of it. Mr. Muncy was a nice little fellow, and I'm pretty put out that somebody would go to the trouble to murder him. But there ain't nothing to prove it was a killing. There's axes all over the room he was in. It uh, could have been an accident. Do you think it was? Well, I don't know. Come on in here. I know there's something that may help you decide. Oh, this blood all over the floor is giving me indigestion. That's the impossible, California. You haven't eaten anything. Doggone, that's right. That's what I'm feeling. No supper. Now, look here. See these axes? Go on, take one off the wall. Uh, and, and, and I'd rather just as well look at them from here. Don't you see something pretty obvious? Look at this one. And this row over here. See? I don't see nothing except a bunch of axes. But don't you realize that there's not one of them in here that is like the one that fell and killed Mr. Muncy? Well, sure there is. It was just like these red-handled ones. I don't mean the handle. I mean the other end. Uh, the blade. That's right. Every axe in here is to tell you couldn't cut summer butter with it. But the one that fell was sharp enough to slice a human skull. Oh, you're right, Hoppy. Gee, Willikins, what do you think of that? Shh, quiet. Huh? Howdy, boys. Howdy. Uh, mind if I go along on this little tour? My education has been kind of neglected. Come on in, mister, but don't hide behind doors. You might get into trouble. Oh, I never get in trouble. But you might. Especially if I was to tell the sheriff that about an hour ago I delivered a message to you from Mr. Muncy. And how is that going to cause trouble? Well, it depends on what the message was. If I was to say that Mr. Muncy wanted you to please leave him alone, and he couldn't possibly make the payoff that you demanded... Why, you dirty... Fighting ain't the answer, cowpoke. No, I can see that. California, how much do you have with you? Uh, uh, What? Get out your pouch, California. What? (laughs) We understand each other, eh, Mr. Cassidy? Yeah, we certainly do. I don't believe I know your name, though. Oh, the folks just call me Brick. Gold Brick, maybe. Now, listen, you old gold. Yeah, Brick. A crack like... Yeah, something to make you feel better. And don't go causing any trouble, will you? We just want to stay out of this. That's better. You know, uh, I was watching through the window all the time. Oh, you were. Uh-huh. Well, don't say anything about our taking the map, will you? We're, uh, we're just collecting curios for our ranch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, sucker. Thanks. Now I think fine. Hoppy. Hoppy. Are you stark raving mad? What do you mean by paint off that little chiseler? And why did you tell him about finding the map? But I didn't find it, California. I just thought it might be interesting to see what he would do if he thought I did. Come on now. Let's have our dinner and see what we can figure out. Uh, oh, now you're talking. Uh, I can just taste a big hunk of steak. I, I, uh, Mm-mm, Hoppy, I just thought of something. What? We can't buy no dinner. You gave that chiseler all the money we had. Oh, what do you think of that? Well, the bank will be open in the morning, so let's go dream of a hearty breakfast. <laughs> Before we continue with this exciting story, here is a word from your announcer.
now back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Murder on the Trail. One of the leading citizens of Rapid River has been murdered because he started up into Lost Canyon. Then Mr. Munsey, curator of the museum, was killed by a fallen axe as he was about to give Hopalong Cassidy the map showing the secret passage into Lost Canyon. So now Hoppy and California are camped out on the edge of town, and they're trying to figure out two things. Who is doing the killings, and why? Ah, uh, it doesn't add up, California. Yet two men have been killed for no apparent reason. But uh, the little fellow at the museum told you the reason. They're, they're religious group. No, California. I don't think that's the answer. It's very seldom that wars are fought or murders are committed because of religion. People generally kill for a very earthly possession. You, you mean, uh, money? Uh-huh. But in this instance, I can't figure out who will gain and who will lose because of this map showing the secret passage into Lost Canyon. I sure wish you hadn't told that brick fellow that we have the map. But that may bring the murderer out into the open. Why, we may even have visitors before the night's over. Did it? Uh, you think so? Uh, say, maybe we should have gotten a hotel room after all. Why, California. You said you didn't want to ask for a room without having the money to pay in advance. You were afraid of being embarrassed. Well, I'd rather be embarrassed than dead. Do I detect a note of fear someplace? I just don't want to die on an empty stomach, that's all. <laughs> if I hadn't... If I'd had, had supper, I wouldn't have mind laying out here to be shot. Or... But think how much you have to look forward to. As soon as the bank is open in the morning, I'll buy you the biggest breakfast in Rapid River. You will, Harvey? You bet. Buckwheat cake stacked a foot high. You dream about that. Mm-hmm. Swimming in syrup and gobs of That's right. And brown little sausages to spice them up. <sighs> Buckwheat cakes. Sausages. And a pile of scrambled eggs. Scrambled <sighs> eggs. Sausages. Sure. Sweet dreams, California. <laughs> I'd better shut up and get to sleep myself. All this talk of food is killing me. California, wake up. Hey, okay, yeah. Breakfast time already? Suffering snakes, what's that? Let's find out. No time to saddle up. Come on. I'm coming, Hoppy. Come on, Topper. Over towards these bushes. Hey, maybe it's a trap, Hoppy. You'll have to risk it. Look over here. Yeah, that's his horse. Easy, uh, easy, boy. Uh, uh, who is it? Uh, is, is that you, Hoppy? What, Jake? Uh, Jake Peters. He's hurt bad, Hoppy. Uh, uh, Take it easy, Jake. Uh, we'll get you to a doctor. Oh, uh, it ain't no use. He rode up behind me and put these slugs into me. Who did, Jake? Uh, the murderer. He knowed I was riding out here to warn you. He's after you now, Hoppy. If I'd had eyes, I, I could have found you. The fella at the forge told me you camped out on this road. Oh. Jake, who put the slugs in you? Who was it? No use, Hoppy. He ain't hearing you now. Poor old Jake. California, we're dealing with someone who will shoot a blind man in the back. I'd sure like to get my hands on the barman, Dud. I've got a hunch Mrs. Mills may know something about these murders. You meet me there later. Where are you going now? To the bank as soon as it opens. If it's for breakfast money, Hoppy, forget it. I ain't hungry now. No, I'm going to try to find out who is the wealthiest man in this town. such an interest, Mr. Cassidy. You didn't know my husband. No, Mrs. Mills, and I didn't know the man at the museum. And I'd only met Jake Peters, but it still winds me up inside to see cold-blooded murder. The whole town knows that there are religious fanatics up in Lost Canyon. The whole town may know that, but what about you? Do you know it? I... Uh, you don't I... believe that story any more than I do, Mrs. Mills. There's someone right here in this town that's doing the killing. I only want to know the route into Lost Canyon so that I might be able to bring the murderer out into the open. Yes, I want that, too. I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't give you the route, but I will act as your guide and lead you up there. Oh, but that's too dangerous. There's no man in my family now, Mr. Cassidy. I've got to be father and mother both to my children, and their father would ride up and gain what Lost Canyon has to give us. All right, Mrs. Mills, with spirit like that, come along with me, and we'll clean up this whole dirty mess. <laughs> Ah, this 
business is bad business. I'm sorry I agreed to let you come with me. Living is bad business, Mr. Cassidy. You have to have courage to take chances. Now, you trust me, and we may both come out of this alive. What's the matter? Do you hear something? Yes. Someone's coming up the trail that we're taking us. Why, it's the sheriff. Hello, Mr. Richards. Hello, Mrs. Mills, and oh, it's you, Cassidy. That's right, Sheriff. Who did you expect? I expected you to have better sense, I'll tell you that. Or maybe you mean I shouldn't have had such good sense. You saw what I did with that mob back in the museum, Cassidy. I cocked my gun like this, and I threatened to use it on the first man that tried to take the law into his own hands. Oh, but, Sheriff, you don't understand. Mr. Cassidy if is... If a... this is Mr. Cassidy, the only man in Rapid River that vouched for him was blind Jake Peters. You mean dead Jake Peters. If he's dead, you're the only one that knows about it, Cassidy. Well, there's been enough talk. My deputy's right down the trail waiting for my whistle. So now I'm sending you back to town for safekeeping. And you? Mrs. Mills and I are going right on up this trail. Yes, Sheriff. I'm glad you came when you did, for we're approaching the passage now. Well, you ride on, Mrs. Mills. I'll catch up with you. All right, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Looks like I rode up just in time. Brick, you take Cassidy back to town and watch him. Okay, Sheriff. Well, so Brick here is your newly appointed deputy. Seems like only last night that he was a cheap blackmailer. Shut up, Cassidy. I got me a badge now. <laughs> and if the sheriff don't get out of Lost Canyon alive, I'll be head man. Don't say a thing like that. I'm coming back. What's the matter, Sheriff? You kind of superstitious? I'll tend to you later, Cassidy. Right now, I'm going with Mrs. Mills after the murderer. Of course, it's mighty dangerous for a woman to be riding up into the canyon. No telling what might happen. You know, Sheriff, you sound just like a man who's trying to establish an alibi. Huh? Yeah, an alibi. In the event Mrs. Mills doesn't come back alive. You know, Mrs. Mills, it was a sad day that your husband found that map showing the secret passage into Los Angeles. Oh, it was a horrible day. But how did he know it would cost him his life? Yeah, no, I guess he didn't. But that Mr. Munsey at the museum knew the danger. He wanted to get rid of the map. He wanted to give the map to Mr. Cassidy. Yeah, but he never did. Because I killed him and took the map myself. What? Yes, Mrs. Mills, I killed Mr. Munsey and I killed your husband. I thought they was the only two that knew the passage. Sheriff, what are you saying? That I can't let anybody living know the passage, Mrs. Mills. But I know it. That's right. I don't like doing this. In fact, I never enjoy killing. Jake Peters, you killed him too. Oh, he was a worthless old coot, but he was nosy and got to suspecting things. He was on his way to blab to Cassidy, so I had to get rid of him. Sheriff, this is incredible. How can you go on killing and killing and... You're the last. Then I'll be safe. Everything I've got will be saved. What do you mean? I'm a rich man, Mrs. Mills. I ain't just a tin-horned sheriff like folks think. I got a barrel full of money. But I'd lose it all if this here secret passage is found. You... You're really going to kill me. Get off your horse, Mrs. Mills. No, no, no! Come on, Lawson, that's all right. Let's get this over quick. No, Sheriff, I have children. You can't... Maybe I'll adopt them, Mrs. Mills. Oh, I'll... get the passage out. I'll leave Rapid River. I'll let me live. Send your prayers, oh. Mrs. Mills. This is it. What's that? Who's over there? Get up here, you. Take your hands off me. Uh, well, stay right here. There's a visitor out in the bushes. Let me go. You stay right in front of me. I'll come back after you, Sheriff. I thought it was you, Cassidy, hiding behind them bushes. You're wasting your bullets, Sheriff. I got you covered. Your little game is up. If you shoot me, Cassidy, you shoot Mrs. Mills first. Come on, behind these rocks. Oh, be careful, you're too close to the edge. Yeah. I see you sneaking for the trail, Sheriff, but I'm sitting up here to see you don't make it. Why, you sniveling skunks think you can trap me, do you? Hey, you Mr. Miles. Let me go, you're hurting me. Why, I ought to... I see your hat, Cassidy. You're out on the ledge, Sheriff. We got you covered both ways. You might as well drop your gun. Ah, uh, you think I'll give up, do you? I'm used to living hard, and I'll die the same way. You're not going to take me alive, and I'll die laughing, because I'm taking Mrs. Mills with me. Stop it, Sheriff. You're pulling her over the left. Stop it. Oh, we're falling. Let me go.
back to Hop Along Cassidy. Oh, gun it, Hoppy. That was the fanciest rope I ever seen. Did I hurt your arm, Mrs. Mills? Oh, I, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm just so thankful to be alive. It was a mighty close call. If it hadn't been for Hoppy's rope, you'd be at the bottom of the ravine with a the sheriff there. And if you hadn't ridden up the trail, California, and helped me disarm Brick. Well, I Oh, it's just... so horrible. This sheriff must have been insane wanting to kill me for no reason. Oh, he had a reason, all right. But what? How could it matter to him that I knew the secret passage? Well, didn't you want to use it to build up your stagecoach business, Mrs. Mills? Well, yes, but no one knew that. Don't see how that mattered to the sheriff, Hoppy. He was a very wealthy man, California. Yes, he told me that. But I just thought he was raving. Oh, no. I managed to find that out at the bank. He owned controlling interest in a railroad that runs from Rapid River to Dodge City. What? That's right. The railroad had almost run your stage line out of business. Now, if you were to route your stages through Lost Canyon, you could beat train time and get the business back again. Well, if that ain't the dag busted this doggone... Oh, why, it's uh... incredible. He did all that killing to protect his railroad. Yes, but now you're free to route your stages through the canyon. Yes, I must do that. I've got to support the children. I guess the first thing is to find a good driver and try the canyon road. Hoppy, do you, do you suppose there really is a fanatical religious cult up here in this canyon? I get a feeling we're kind of being watched. Well, I know one sure way of finding out. Uh, uh, how's that? You drive Mrs. Mills' stage through this canyon. And if there are any religious folks up here, you'll probably scale them right up into the hills. Well, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Up in California, are heading back Bar 20 way, got a lot of things to take care of at the ranch. But it won't be long till Hoppy gets that feeling, and they'll be heading out again for more excitement and adventure. We'd like mighty well to have you along. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Murder on the Trail was written by John Barclay. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.